We are now going to commission matters under action items. So we'll begin with item number two, public requests. Um, the way we're going to handle letter A is at this time before we take action, I know that we have some information to consider from our council, but prior to that consideration, I would like to ask for anyone who'd like to speak for or against this matter to please come to the podium and you will be given two minutes to speak. Uh, I'm out here as a county employee. Uh, just 
here on my own time, although I believe that this is an issue that affects everybody and town employees. Uh, Mr. Smith said two meetings ago that trying to stop prayer at a county commission meeting was not an assault on Christians. Um, I believe he probably believes that, but more importantly, what it's an assault on is God's sovereign rule. Um, God, the God of the Bible is the one that set up government, and he's the one that set up laws. And if we take him out of that, we're going to be leaving ourselves to our own devices, and that's not good. We need his wisdom, we need his direction. Concerning a legal opinion about this, um, I don't know what it is, and I highly respect the county attorneys, but uh, in this matter, I don't think a legal opinion really matters, because God is the one that's in charge. And you can't rule him out, you can't legislate him out of his sovereign rule. If we do that, he's still going to rule. He's still going to sit on the throne. But who is his favor? And he will not be there to guide us when we bring the judgment upon ourselves. Uh, <clears throat> the God that I know is a God of mercy. And he, all that come to him in the name of Christ receive forgiveness. He's quick to cleanse our sins, forgive us. But those that don't meet with him under those terms will receive his displeasure and wrath. There would be no need for God's mercy if he was not the God that judges sin. And I just had a scripture that I wanted to read that I think is pertinent, and it's from Obadiah 115. For the day of the Lord is a near upon all the nations. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Your deeds shall return on your own head. I would ask the commissioners to make a decision I would urge them to make a decision that does not rule God out of this, because that's a dangerous place for all of us to be. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. DeCosta. Are you going to speak, Tracy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tracy Master, and I'm also speaking just as a regular citizen of Thomas County. I feel that whatever decision the commission makes will be one that I believe is uh, the most appropriate for the county. I want to believe that. Um, I am troubled by something in this. And if, for example, and I promise I'm not singling out Ms. Hewitt, but if Ms. Hewitt, for example, someone who routinely attends meetings, were to say, I'm not comfortable with this, um, or anyone else who routinely attends meetings and hey, I come to you with this, I would see their point somewhat more. Because if you attend a meeting routinely, then this could, this matter could affect you. I am troubled that this is coming by someone who, well, I have not attended 100% of meetings, but someone who does not routinely attend meetings comes to a meeting and says, I want you to stop the way that you are attending the meetings. Because I I am personally of the opinion, and I could be wrong, Mr. Smith may continue attending meetings after this, and your decision may affect him personally afterwards, but to come in and say, this is how I want you to do it, and then to perhaps disappear into the woodwork after you know, coming to us, that troubles me. I, I, would much rather see someone who is routinely affected by your decisions come to make requests. So as someone who routinely attends meetings as both a citizen, as a citizen of Torrance County, I hope that the decision that you make will be one that affects people who routinely attend your meetings. Thank you, Tracy. Anyone else? Mr. Smith, would you like to add anything to what you've previously said? Appreciate all the comment. Um, a couple good points were brought up. I'll deal with the last one. I do not, in the flesh, attend meetings on a regular basis. However, things to our illustrious doctor back here, I have attended these meetings by for some time. 
And um, I think you'll find that in most of these situations, I do not have to be, and I'm not calling this point down here a crime, but I do not have to be at the scene of the crime to report a crime. So if there's something going on in a county commission or in a city council meeting or any other government position, I do not have to physically be there to report the problem. Uh, if I think people's behavior is within the guidelines of the United States of America, then I have no problem. So the gentleman, is it Rick? I'm sorry. You got his name. Mr. Uh, me? Yeah. Yeah. me? Dana? Yes. Yes, sir. Appreciated that. And I expected that kind of response to his brother, but I don't know money for where you're coming from. But this is all about context. This is government business. This is a government building. These are elected officials. And there's nobody here who is saying you can't pray to your eyes pop out of your head the whole time we're conducting this business. But we're talking about gratuitous, orchestrated prayer by the state. It's just that simple. A moment of silence will please everybody. Now, it may bruise some egos, but that's okay. This is America. We get along. Thank you. And thank you also to you, Mr. Smith, and um, other members of the audience this evening for your service to our country. It's greatly appreciated. Yes. Um, is there any other public comment prior to us taking council's opinion? Okay. Um, Commissioner Freiberger, you want to make a comment? I was not here the first time uh, this was presented, and uh, last time it was a day meeting, and Mr. Smith was unable to attend. But from what I've read in the minutes and different things, uh, I've really done a lot of research. I've really uh, studied on some things and tried to find out was amazed to find out that there's 20 major religions in the world. There's 119 different languages to speak of a God. Uh, in the King James Version alone, there is 317 different references to God, different names to God. So no matter what we say, you know, or what we call him, whether it be Muhammad, or whether it be God, or whether it be Allah, or whatever. It, it's still, to me, the Almighty, the, the one that, that we look up to. Now, I also, in, in trying to figure out what, you know, would be fair, and, and looking at the Pledge of Allegiance, where it talks about indivisible. And in order to be that we have to compromise. We have to be able to uh, uh, look at one and respect the other and, and so forth. And so we need to volunteer for somebody in the audience to volunteer to pray would be the same for Mr. Smith to volunteer for all of us to have a minute of silence if, he, if he's chosen that night to have it. And that, to me, does not invade on anybody's right. And he has the opportunity to have the minute of silence just as much as Mr. Barella had the opportunity to say the prayer tonight. And I think that in order to compromise, in order to uh, satisfy everybody, maybe not 100%, but hopefully 90 to 95%, then I think we all should respect each other. And uh, I, I would be inclined to uh, vote that we do have a volunteer at every commission meeting. And that's all I have to say. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Fabio, would you like to comment um, prior to hearing the research from Okay, thank you so much. At this time, we have been asked to go into executive session to receive our advice on this particular matter due to threatened litigation. So I will now call for a motion to enter into executive session. 
Is there a motion on the table? So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. This does require a roll call vote. District 1? Yes. District 2? Yes. District 3? Yes. We are now in executive session. Um, this does a matter of housekeeping. We cannot enter into our regular <coughs> area to meet. So do we go to the manager's office or break room? Okay.